Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to answer this question. What are range parameters in SSRS report? Range parameters are parameters. By using them, we can choose range of values for our report. So think, think about a scenario. We can have some dates and we would like to select data from one date to another data. So that's called the range uh, parameters. So we are going to create those uh, real quick uh, and show you how exactly they work. Uh, let me select the data from uh, one of the co table called DBO total sale. And uh, the column sold date can be used uh, as a range parameter. Now what, how we write it, we write where clause uh, and then say where sold date uh, between. And then uh, we have to provide the two parameters. Uh, so we are going to say start date and at the rate end date. In this case, we created two parameters, start date and end date. We can select the value for starting point and then in the end date, we will be selecting the end point or end date till we would like to see the data. So let's go ahead and copy this query and create the report. So these are called range parameters. Now go to the data set, add data set. Let's select our data source, paste the query here and hit OK. Two parameters are created. Let's go ahead and insert a table here quickly. Sale person first name, item sold, and maybe we can have a sold data. Now the next step will be using them. If you preview, preview your report, you will see text boxes here. And as we know that these parameters are date parameters and the column we are using is a date column, we can convert to the date time data type for this parameter so what we can do here we can go to each parameter right click parameter property and then here data type of this parameter is text we can change this one to the date time by doing it we will be uh, able to um, see the calendar and then we will be able to select the values from there also we would like to if we would like to provide some default values, we can provide those default values here. So we are good for now. Go to the end date, parameter properties, and also change the data type to the date time. So we'll see this parameter as a calendar. So hit OK. Now preview the report, and you can see that we have start date and end date. So if I will select, let's say if I would like to start from uh, March 1st, and then go all the way as of today so then I can preview my report and the data will be displayed so you can see that we were able to select the range of the values by using start date and end date that's uh, that's how the range parameters look like in SSRS report and I would recommend providing the examples uh, in the interview because they really help and you can explain them uh, the way you have written the query the way you display the calendar and uh, the, the person will really understand how much you know about the range parameters in SSRS good luck with your interview and I will see you next video